everybody it is Margaret Texas Gal Treasures and I am here to share with you a video about how to file a claim when an item arrives damaged or broken um, to a seller on eBay or Etsy or other platforms so I had a mug turn up broken which happens not very often but um, actually I don't think I've ever had a mug show up broken but anyway other things have um, so anyway uh, what I did was the, when the buyer contacted me to let me know that it showed up broken, I asked them to send me pictures and once I got the pictures, I refunded the buyer immediately and then now I am taking the pictures and I'm going to file a claim with USPS.com to get my um, fees and things and item price and all that good stuff refunded. So it usually takes a few days. But it's pretty easy so um you'll come over to request a refund no file a claim file a claim and there's lots of stuff to read and things to get lost in but you just scroll all the way down to where it says start an online claim and then here you'll have to go to your ebay listing and get the tr sorry the tracking number and the day you shipped the item on so here is my tracking number here. I'm just going to copy. Well, I'm going to try to copy it. There we go. Copy. Plug that in. And my shipping date. It'll tell you shipped on right here. 7-23-17. So 07-23-2017. And search. The tracking you entered, ooh, it's not valid, ooh, y'all. Let's see, aha, uh -huh, I missed the nine. So make sure you get the whole tracking number in there. Now let's try that again. So here we've got it. Uh, reason for the claim, contents damaged, fees paid zero if insured. So zero through there. I was the mailer. So this is a enter zero if claimed included insurance for, so like let's say you had, you paid additional insurance on top of your priority. Okay, or like uh, first class, you can get insurance with it. So I was the mailer. So then here you will fill in the person's address that you sent it to. Okay, so all that stuff can be found on your receipt, um, invoice, and then come down and fill in. So then you'll come down and fill in the package information, item name, type, description, purchase date. I guess when you purchased it, if there was no purchase date, use the date of the item shipped. Yeah, amount requested, and then drop files in here. So Starbucks mug item type it was what will we consider this let's go with collectible item description starbucks mug i'm going to use the um date that it went out on because i don't know the purchase i mean i guess it was the purchase date it was the day before that so 22nd this is when they must have purchased it and amount requested would be the amount of shipping and the price that it went for $17.20 right there uh, drag and drop files let me get those over here and drop them on then upload proof of value oopsies I uploaded that in the wrong spot so delete that let me put them in the right spot here we go um let's see what do they want here that's new Sales receipt, a paid invoice, or bill of paid sale. Let me download an invoice. Print label or invoice. So I'm saving this as a PDF. Putting it on my desktop. I don't remember ever having to do this before. So this is new for me. All right, so now try that again. There we go. And that will let them know how much the person paid. And I'm going to put Starbucks mug right here. Review claim. And I think we are good to go. 
Okay. I hereby certify, blah, 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 it's all true, and submit. And that is that. So there was a, a bit of a new twist there. I've never had to upload a an invoice before, but I'm guessing they probably have people fibbing about how much the item is worth and all of that. So um, I get it. I get why they would need to do it. Okay, so I hope you guys found this video helpful. If so, go down there, hit the thumbs up, and leave me a comment, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!